just going to be a quick one just to show you the on the other side uh, not just the grief and the terror and the burnt out husk this is a bit of hope and and the gospel <laughs> this is a very powerful tool and people are singing happy hopeful songs choirs and silence are a very powerful tool for change I think I'm going to do like a more <clears throat> quality video and upload it to YouTube talk about some more personal stuff that's what, what I'm here to do other than <coughs> reporting you can see the press are desperately looking for stories They're just hovering around It basically there's a lot of people around and, and it kind of looks like occupy sandy when the sandy hurricane hit and i do intend to link up with new york uh, occupy kensington in in new york have already been in touch there's an occupy kensington in new york uh, people from the occupy movement to stay together and because of trump they're pretty active and they're trying to work something out how to how to turn this into a, a story that the two occupy castingtons linking up uh, across the sea what kind of my angle about this is this is this is a like a, a shock that London had to go through to wake up <clears throat> And it's not just London; it's the, the whole world is is in for for a really rough time <coughs> because of the global situation, wars, and climate change. And we need to be prepared for for a crisis situation, and you can't wait for governments to sort these things out, especially the way governments are these days. I mean, we saw how the system was completely obsolete and corrupted in 2011 when the Occupy movement happened. And uh, I think people have been relapsing and trying to still, uh, like, I don't know what's the best word, uh, to. Uh, put all the responsibility on, on one person or just a few selected politicians or officials which is impossible physically impossible to do and since most of those people in power are psychopaths who don't, wouldn't even care anyway it's even more impossible to to have it that way I mean people have to learn how to how to, to mutilate how to how to help each other how to be autonomous in that community and, and sort things out. I saw a few vegetable gardens in here, community food gardens. So something has already started in this area, but <clears throat> with a few people, we're intending to accelerate that process in this area. We kind of meant to do it because of the crossrail situation, but this this happened now. Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, the... oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's her, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Sister Ruth from Occupy London. She lived opposite the tower that burned down. 
<laughs> yeah, so we've seen social cleansing and the so-called regeneration in action in all around London, what it does. <coughs> and me and me and quite a few people have been trying to to uh, start the regeneration of the people, a sustainable regeneration in in each area. Uh, we didn't really get far usually, but uh, we have to start here again. It looks like this is the place to to do it. It would be so-called regenerated anyway, but it needs to be properly turned into some kind of an eco-city setup. And people have already started it, but yeah, it's kind of kind of my plans. Apart from sorting out the housing situation for the for the victims, but that's just even not even the top of the iceberg or tip of the iceberg. It's just so the, yeah, I think I'm going to do a, a proper quality video and upload it to YouTube. Much more enjoyable in a HD quality than li live stream. <laughs> the live streams are very useful when you need to see what's happening if it's and you can feed in. Okay, so take care, guys. I'll be back at some point and we're working on the situation. Quite a few grassroots groups coming in to, to do their magic, and it's all starting here. <coughs> so it's a new beginning. So that's it. Hashtag Occupy Kensington is about to unfold. If you want to see more of this, please come down and, and get involved. So that's it. Occupy everywhere, guys. May the force be with us. <laughs> ciao, ciao.